Hey everybody! Today I'm out here working on this big bowl for a future video project. But for right now, I just wanted to catch up with you about a few experiments I've done with different clays recently and the results I've had. So first of all, you might have seen this pookie that I was experimenting with. And so it was slipped on the inside with different yellow and green slips. And I just wanted to share with you the results I've had, which are very interesting. So these two really bright red ones were yellow clays, kind of mustard yellow from the Mogollon Rim. And those turned the brightest red. These three here were those new yellow clays that I got over from New Mexico. And as you can see, they're a little oranger than these ones from the White Mountains, which is about right for like St. John's polychrome. And then these are those green clays I was experimenting with. So the one on the left is the green clay from Blanding, Utah that I got up at the Kiln Conference. And this is the green that I got from down near the San Pedro River. I made a video about that in the spring. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it right up over here so you can check that out. The one from the San Pedro is the most interesting because it crackled quite a bit and you can see that it held carbon, whereas the yellow next to it did not hold the carbon in the same way. So that tells me that this is likely a smectite clay that might hold organic paint. So it'd be interesting to do some experiments with organic paint black designs on a yellow slip, which I might be able to do with that. This is the first time I've tried that green clay that I collected from the San Pedro. So. Uh, interesting results. I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, and then on the same line, Red Wares, uh, this is painted with that same yellow from the White Mountains that I have here. So you can see it's a similar color. This was a student's pot from my October workshop. And we couldn't fire in the workshop because it poured rain on the last day. And so the firing was postponed and a lot of the students opted to leave their pottery with me, let me fire it when I had time and then mail it to them. So I'm about to mail this pot out, which is kind of why I recorded this video today because this thing's about to hit the mail and I wanted to show you before it did. So the paint recipe we were using on the inside of this bowl was just my typical one, which is one third manganese dioxide, one third copper carbonate and one third clay. Uh, and I fired a whole bunch of student pottery. It all came out nice, but this was the only one that turned a little bit glazy. And you can see in some areas, this black paint is actually a little glazy, which is interesting because if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I've worked really hard to try to achieve and with limited success, you know, glazed paint, which some of the prehistoric people in the Southwest did. And, and this is really nice glazed paint. And it's not everywhere, but uh, that's not uncommon to see on the prehistoric vessels where it's a little glazy in places. This is, this is glazy more than it's not though. This is really good. So. Uh, first of all, I mean, I might need to ask the student how they measured it because maybe it's more copper than manganese or something. I don't know, uh, but it's interesting because it was just my ordinary, typical way of firing, just my ordinary, typical paint recipe. And yet here I have some glazy results. So I'm really excited about that and hoping to do some experiments on that in the future. Now, the last one I have to show you is this experimental pookie here. So I do a lot of my slip experiments on pookies because then when I'm done, I'm not left with some random piece of ceramic that I can't do anything with. When I'm done, I can still use it as a pookie because I've already done my experiment. It doesn't matter what happens to it, uh, you know, if the surface gets dirty. So this was painted with uh, that smectite, that white smectite clay that I sell on my website. Um, but I was trying different things. So on this side, I was painting them on dry. That is, I painted the slip on after the pot was fully dry. On this side, I was painting them on when the pot was damp while it was leather hard. And so this is a comparison between wet and dry. And we can see that the dry is a lot more crackled. That smectite clay has a high shrinkage rate. So it tends to crackle if you get it too thick, but applied to the dry pot, it definitely crackles a lot more. The other thing I was experimenting with was coats. So these were put on very, very thin, one coat at a time. And so in the first strip here, I have one coat only of the slip applied. And you can see that it's quite see-through-y. Uh, in the next section, I have two coats applied and it's a little bit thicker, but you can still see that brown body clay underneath pretty well. Uh, and then over a little more, you've got three coats and then on the edges, you've got four. So you can see that four coats might almost be a little too much. Three coats is probably pretty optimal uh, because this stuff crackles so easily, you don't want to get too much on it. So it's always a balance between you know, seeing through the slip a little bit and not getting it to crackle. In fact, if it crackles too much, it will fall off. Actually, little flakes of the slip will come off the pot. So you don't want to get that. Okay, and then on the black paint, I was testing a number of coats again. So uh, this at the bottom, this is one coat of the organic mesquite bean paint. And then two, three, four, five, six, and seven coats. And you can see they're all relatively the same blackness. 
uh, the one one coat is not enough obviously it's a little it's a little thin in places on the one coat it's not a really good black uh, but actually two and three are just as black as you know six and seven so uh, it doesn't really pay to put on too much paint uh, but you do want to make sure you get a good thick coat so that was very interesting there so that's my organic paint experiment i've got my um colored slip experiment and this interesting bowl that glazed that's all i had to show you today but hopefully that gives you something to think about something to plan maybe for a future project thanks for watching today i'll catch you next time